Paul, carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Farmingdale, New York, here on Long Island, and I am here in front of Adventure Land. Now, recently, I visited a, a park called Adventureland in Iowa. This is not connected in any way that I can determine. Um, so there is a completely separate Adventureland in Iowa, an Adventureland here in New York, and then in Disney they have se a, a section named Adventureland. But um, yeah, in 2020 I had this plan. I was going to travel through Pennsylvania and New York State and visit all these wonderful small amusement parks that they have. Unfortunately, um, when I I was able to travel through Pennsylvania, but New York uh, in 2020 was not allowing out-of-state visitors, so I was unable to visit the New York wing of that trip. But I'm here in New York and I'm planning on visiting a bunch of these cool small amusement parks. This one is built here in the 1960s. Uh, so I hope you guys will join me for that. And uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to help me celebrate not only the summer of dark rides, but uh, the upcoming eminent haunt season. I'm selling a new dark ride theme pin in the Etsy shop that's in the description of this video. But for now, please follow me. Ooh, check out this super spooky tree there. You can see some of the mascots here. They have a, a superhero and a guy in a pith helmet with a big cool mustache. The first thing I see after walking through the gates of the park, Babe the Big Blue Ox. I don't know why it says don't touch the bull. It's clearly a blue ox. But uh, there's Babe. Where is Paul Bunyan? I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for Paul as we travel through the park. Here comes a antique car here traveling underneath the Eiffel Tower. Cool little old car. Watch out for that uh, glowing neon uh, tiger lurking in the woods. This mighty fiberglass pirate here standing next to the pirate ship. Always a little terrifying. This one doesn't look too blood curdling. There we go, get a little more height there. Okay, hopping aboard the antique car here. Actually, you're not allowed to ride one person in this car, but this group here was kind enough to let me ride in their back seat. Look at this interesting clown ride vehicle right there. Look at the tunnel here. It's another one of those interesting clown vehicles. I would wonder what ride that would have been. Waterfall right there. And it looks like some sort of alligator lurking in the bushes. So we head under the Eiffel Tower. Oh, there's that no good glowing tiger. This interesting clown vehicle. Again, I'd love to know what ride that was from. All right, we're pulling back into Alfie's garage. The flume ride here. It's pretty scary. What's interesting about this ride is there's actually two separate flume slides. Oh, watch out. I saw a gorilla peeking at me through the bushes there. If you look closely up there at the window is that strange mustachioed figure. A variety of concrete and fiberglass figures there. See the water wheel turning. Little seal crawling out of the water. Check that out, the mighty gorilla. All right, we're gonna check out the rattlesnake coaster. Here we go, right in. What is this? I forget what the name of this ride was. It's it's a giant snake. Is it the Rattler? Yeah, I think it's the Rattler. But, uh, 
we go. Down off the side there. And here we go. Whoa! <laughs> and we head through the trees. Uh oh, head back into the station, but I don't think it stops. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy, tame roller coaster here as we do our our second go through. I'm using my for those of you following, I'm using my Osmo Action Cam. See if the, oh, let me know. Let me know how the footage is. Let me know uh, if it recorded well, the sound, all that. But uh, as, we, as we travel on the Rattler here, we're going to go through the barn, woo, over the hill, and back into the station. Pretty simple, quick little ride. A part of the criteria of which amusement parks I go to is whether or not they have a dark ride. And here's the dark ride here at Adventureland Mystery Mansion. Got quite a cool facade out here. This is actually a fairly new dark ride, if I understand correctly. It says this was opened in 2018. You can see they have a really cool hanging car right there. So without further ado, let's hop aboard the Mystery Mansion. Some horrifying spider scenes here on the outside. You see these people are naked and afraid, all tied up with the evil spider looming over them. Here's another spider battle scene. Who's that guy? Looks like the Toxic Avenger. Love these ride vehicles here, these hanging spider themed vehicles. Look here, the cart's actually missing and just replaced with a giant spider. Oh, here we go. See the very spooky and ominous casket right there, possibly containing a super spooky skeleton as we wait here to advance into the mystery mansion. Is it gonna burst? Is it gonna burst? Maybe not. Oh! Let these folks right here enter if you dare. I've already begun. Can't turn back. Oh! There's that organ player. Oh! Compressed air! Very dark, very dark in here. Oh, just an endless barrage of compressed air. What's this? What's going on? Oh, the Grim Reaper! Oh, a mummy! Oh, he's growling. Who is this guy? We're heading upwards, venturing upwards into the top floor of the mystery, mystery mansion. Got a hall of portraits, they're all laughing at me. The freak show. Oh! Freak there. What's going on? These are the freaks, the guy's rocking right there. Oh, it's a very loud screaming. Where are we headed? Cemetery? Oh, cool! It's like a toxic waste bucket. Oh! Oh! Oh, the werewolf head! Oh, this part of the dark ride isn't all that dark. Got a pirate being eaten by a raptor head. Interesting. All right. So, here we go. We're in the, uh, the outside section of the park. It'll be with that roller coaster right there. There's a bathtub. Interesting. A giant skull. And here as we head out over top the park and then back in to the mis mystery mansion. I keep almost saying mysterious mansion like in Gatlinburg, but here we go. Oh, I do see some bloody flashing. I, I, I must note there's a lot of props that are like in the dark that I can't see. But, okay, we're, we're headed down now. Down back 
back. Oh, we're gonna begin our descent back down to the bottom of the mystery mansion. I see a bunch of super spooky skeletons there. Oh, what is that? A bulldog? Pitbull? It's like some sort of. Oh, there's like a, a skeleton band there. All right. And we exit. One interesting note about the Mystery Mansion is they said no single riders, but they let me on because they said that you could be a single rider as long as you were older than 25. So I guess the single rider rule here is spawned from uh, youthful hooliganism. This roller coaster here is called Turbulence. They have like these circular pod cars. I think they spin, oh yeah, while the roller coaster coasts. Oh my gosh. There it goes. Oh, oh my god. That looked mortifying. Where's it go? It's so twisty I can't even keep up with it. Where oh, there it goes. You hear them screeching. We're awkwardly staring at these people. We're heading up there. We're on Turbulence, the roller coaster. Oh my gosh. Hey, you can see the haunted house from over there. This is going to be drastically unpleasant, I feel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm twirling. Oh! Oh! It's twirling! Uh, oh, so fast! Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness, that was you were spinning so fast. I was so dizzy and you can hardly even see the track that you're going on because you're just you're spinning so fast that was that was blenderizing the adventureland moose you haven't seen paul bunyan have you Let's see if we can hop a ride here on the train station you got room for one more all right they held the train for me so let's see let's get a good good seat here all right here we go so we walk as we drive past some uh, pictures from Adventureland Past. Got like a nautical themed object right there. And uh, oh, look at these cool these cool tiki heads. It's over here. Is that the sheep from the mattress commercial? some giant checks from the donations that they've given. The pair of hands. Oh, watch out. There's a toucan. What do we have here? Is this the home of Peter Peter Pumpkin Eater's wife? Doesn't look like she's home. We ride our train next to the, next to the highway here. There's Farmer Johnson's cow. A lot of nautical theming here along the train ride. See a pirate ship there. What? What on earth is that? Alligator crossing. What the heck is that thing? Did you know the largest part of crocodile was over 28 feet long? Did you? If you knew that, leave a comment in the comment section. Oh, watch out. Got a velociraptor. 
Just raptors in the woods. Oh, a triple S, a super spooky skeleton. Oh, look at that. More skeletons. What's that? Gnomes? Just a lot thrown at me there. I think there was a shrunken head being held by Lion O from the Thundercats, but I could be wrong. Traveling by Babe there. Still haven't seen Paul. Just a Babe in front of the Eiffel Tower. Got a sea turtle. Well, it looks like these are some old flume ride vehicles. I don't know if that alligator was a ride vehicle at one point. There seems to be several of them scattered around the park. Oh, it's an old horse ride. It's a kangaroo. Yeah, it kind of looks like they've took in, oh, there's a loop-de-loop there's a -loop from mini golf course. Looks like they've taken bits of old rides and like scattered them through the train ride. Yeah, these little alligator logs are all over the park. Oh, we got a alligator, or not an alligator, but an elephant right there. A shark over there. There we got a dolphin. A lot of alligators here on the train. Watch out for that cannon. Yeah, there's the antique cars, along with that very interesting clown car ride. If anyone can identify these ride pieces, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Now, according to this plaque right here, they were actually closed in 2020 because of the pandemic. It looks like they took uh, donations to help uh, keep the park in business. See, I wanted to check out this boat. It was kind of unique, called uh, Alfie's Rescue Boats. And, uh, oh my gosh, look right here. There's like, there's literally a waterfall that just, just, uh, just pours on the kids' heads as they ride this. This is a very interesting, I've not seen a, a ride quite like this before. It's very unique. See, they, looks like, I don't know if the kids are actually steering. It looks like they actually can control how far they go out. They can swing out. But uh, no matter what they do, they get they get hit in the head with a big dose of cold water every time they make a circle. Here's the Little Dipper water flume. And it looks like this character, the superhero character on the back of the boat, that's Alfie. He's the uh, mascot of the park. Okay, here's here comes... Uh, looks pretty soggy, even for a, for a kid's ride. But I guess kids uh, don't mind being soggy. See this ride here, all different types of sports balls. We've got soccer, tennis, golf ball, basketball, soccer, tennis. Okay, I think we made it all the way around. It's a frog flopping game. Oh, fro frog didn't go all that far. Oh my gosh, look at the giant rotating frog on top of the frog game. Why does he have? Why does he have devil horns? Very ominous looking. <laughs> oh my god. Cool outdoor fun house here. Check out this. This this bright glowing pirate. Look at this grand two-story carousel here. Notice the horses here are a little different than the traditional carousel. They go up and down, but the bottom part is like built on a hinge there. That's interesting. Oh, sadly, it looks like the upstairs, it says closed for retired horses only, so old uh, horses that can no longer support human weight are kept up there. Oh, look at this guy. It's a, a hot dog, saucing himself up with some ketchup and some mustard. Look, he, look, he did one eyebrow in mustard, one eyebrow in ketchup. Clever. Here's Alfie. This is the, the ever-present uh, mascot of the theme park here. I guess he's a... A superhero named Alfie. Superman. Batman over here. Who do you like better? Leave a comment in the comment section. Do you like Superman or Batman? Who would win in a fight? Oh, never mind. They already made a movie about that. It's a tie because their moms have the same name. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was such a dumb movie. 
here we have a different kind of superhero, Popeye. Superhero fueled almost completely on green vegetation. Now this is interesting. Apparently Alfie travels to other theme parks to learn about the history of amusement parks. And he has these postcards from different amusement parks. I've not heard of Nunley's. Nunley's Amusement Park, not been there. But I have been to Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio. Wow. And there you can see Alfie's uh, postcard there from Cedar Point. Some other classic theme parks, Morty's Pier. I have been there, that's in Wildwood, New Jersey. I've been to Coney Island, of course, very iconic theme park here in New York. And then we got Bush Gardens in Williamsburg, and I've not been to that Bush Gardens, I've been to the one in Tampa. Look at this, Dollywood, Knott's Berry Farm, and Silver Dollar City. All uh, wonderful parks that I have uh, been to at one time or another. Uh-oh, here comes the crazy train. Little tiny cows and buffaloes there. As the crazy train turns to the corner. It's got a little rooster there on the front. Some interesting things on this ride. The helicopter there. I don't know what that guy was right there. It's a little elephant. Stay Puff Marshmallow Man menacing this car. And then there's the actual Ghostbusters car right there. A lot of interesting things going on on this ride. See the teacups here rotating. You can see this tea spewing out from the teapot right there. As various colors of tea ooze out the cups. Are you sure this is tea? the ferris wheel the uh, hot air balloon style and a wonderful giant pink elephant there love these swings i mean i love looking at them they're really cool i would never ride one but but, but they definitely look cool helicopter ride there Brave Alfie on top. Alfie the superhero. What a mascot. See some gnomes there. And the tree there spitting out bubbles. We have the caterpillar winding his way through the mushrooms there. Hey there. What, ha what, happened, what happened to all the kids? So thank you for joining me here today at Adventureland New York, here in Farmingdale, New York, which is on Long Island. I think that's how it works. Um, and, and, and stay tuned, because we're gonna be visiting more small theme parks, looking for more uh, dark rides to enjoy, as well as other attractions, rides, maybe the occasional roller coaster. If uh, you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when a new video comes out. And, uh, if you want to look back at some of the older videos on this channel, I've been to the 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and much more. Um, also selling enamel pins. In the Etsy shop, we had a new dark ride pin for the summer dark ride tour as well as the imminent haunt season. Also, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, $3 or more will get you a postcard every month. All that just helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.